We've discovered which boss is which secretary and which trader is and which other trader, which uh, may sound like perfectly normal behaviour, but if you're on different sides of a Chinese wall, it's the sort of thing that compliance officers are quite interested in. We've uh, uncovered dark holes. Uh, the dark holes are the bad ones. That's where you suddenly find that someone's making trades and uh, they've actually got access to information that perhaps they shouldn't. This is a conversation I had a couple of days ago with a journalist from the Wall Street Journal. And down here on the left-hand side, we see the key phrases that came out, some emotional, some just very important. Let's click here on Wall Street Journal and hear what was said. For you. Shoot. Um, I forgot. Oh, yeah. This guy from the Wall Street Journal called... One minute and 30 seconds in, someone's saying Wall Street Journal. Most surveillance systems are designed to run on structured data. Uh, really, they're designed by accountants. What we try and do is we try and look at the dark data, the, the email, the instant messaging, the voice stuff, really all the ways that people try and, try and get round the structured systems and surveillance that people put in place. We, we try and predict behaviour by looking at what people have done in the past, uh, what they themselves have done in the past and what other people have done in the past under similar situations. So we'll look at the emotional temperature, we'll see whether they're actually acting in a way which is more stressed than usual. If um, they're using code words perhaps that we've seen before or perhaps patterns of behaviour or patterns of speech which look like the type of code word situations we've had in the past. Firstly, is it an emotional conversation? That's an indicator. The next thing is the type of language that we use. So are people swearing at each other, the type of uh, things that people are saying? And finally, we then look at that in a wider context. So imagine that we've got IM, email, and other things sitting around this, which have also got pointers back into this conversation. So a lot of it is about the linkages as much as the individual conversation itself. We can then say, here is someone who may have done something wrong, or they may about to be doing something wrong. We don't always get it right, but what we can do is very quickly look at an individual, have they done something, can we protect the reputation of the institution? Can we protect the shareholders? And frankly, can we just stop this stuff and nip it in the bud? Let's look at one of the more emotive phrases. There's a phrase here which says <laughs> Click on play, 50 seconds in. I heard like 185s the whole time. I never heard 200s. Well, that's what I am on, guys. Uh-huh, exactly. Blowing smoke up your <laughs> Someone's saying blowing smoke up your <laughs> Someone else is saying if we look here, we have an emotional score of 70%, which reflects the fact this was an important conversation to look at. I'm obviously reluctant to say too many of the key phrases and words that we look for, because that's going to give it away to anyone who might be watching this. But we, we tend to look for unusual patterns of profanity. We might you look for a phrase like, uh, wash trade. Uh, we also look for code words as well. So never ever phone up your wife and suggest that you're going to get a Chinese takeaway on the way home. Uh, it's a classic one.